I walked down in my friend's basement one day and he had a, a court Flying V Michael Shanker model, black and white. And um, he was sitting there and there were two cute girls sort of eyes open looking at him and I thought, oh, that's what I wanted to. <laughs> so that was my original inspiration. But once I started playing, um, because of my father and because I grew up in a rich a musical legacy, um, there were so many people that I immediately wanted to try to play like. And, and, um, and that's the great rush about playing the guitar is there's so many choices and there's so many different ways and there's really no wrong way to play the guitar, whether you're in the Sex Pistols or, you know, Voivod or Slipknot or there's so many different ways to, to express yourself on the guitar and that's what just, I, why it's such a supreme instrument. Well, my first real guitar was a Fender Mustang. Um, it was more of an economic thing. I couldn't really afford any other guitar and I think I got it for a couple hundred bucks. And I always loved that it had this sort of kind of almost Indian, you know, there wasn't a lot of uh, sustain on the guitar. And I think in my early playing, I was sort of attracted to that kind of Cure style of playing, even though I didn't know the Cure existed, but that sort of open stringy type thing. So the early days of the band, that's what I played, but I could never get the game that I wanted. And then Jimmy actually sold me my first Stratocaster, which was a 1973-ish era Strat. Playing the Stratocaster through a high gain amp, it suddenly was like, it evoked all the things that I liked that I'd been hearing on recordings, whether it was Hendrix or Blackmore. And I'd never put it together for me. It was never a choice of like, yeah, I want to play a Stratocaster. I just got one and I, when I played it, it suddenly brought alive what I was looking for in music. You could play it a very individualistic style and yet um, you don't end up sounding like everybody. And what I mean by that is if you think of the difference, say, between uh, Jimi Hendrix is playing, Richie Blackmore is playing, uh, Uli John Roth, Early Days, Scorpions playing, uh, my playing. You have completely different guitar players, Ingve Malmsteen, completely different guitar players, yet the instrument never makes their playing more narrow. In fact, it becomes more expressive. And I think the Strat is the preeminent personality guitar. If you want to be an individualistic player, this is the guitar for you. And if you look at the great solo guitar players who've come out of rock, they've all played Stratocasters. Now what if you're sitting there saying, I'm not a solo guitar player? Well, I'm not always a solo guitar player either, yet people associate me with a very individualistic style. And you can hear the influence of my style that I took from other people, whether it was Hendrix or The Cure or, you know, God knows who else I stole from. You can hear that echoed in, in modern alternative rock. The point is, is that it's about getting down to who you are. What has always frustrated me as a musician with equipment is when the equipment keeps me from being who I am. What's attracted to me working with Fender to try to make my own guitar is not to make a guitar to make you sound like me because that would be the last thing I would want anyone to do because I certainly am not interested in sounding like anybody else. It's to, it's to make an instrument that would develop the person's individual expression. I think what's difficult for people uh, in this modern culture with such high gain uh, rock application is understanding how to play a style that expresses their individual personality and yet still keeps them sort of within the, the sound that's current, which is very, very high gain. And what I've worked with Fender to try to do is to uh, create an instrument that will both allow the individualistic expression at a very high level so that there's nothing on the guitar that will hold you back, which is always the most frustrating thing, I think, for a guitar player. And at the same time, allow your personality to shine through and play high gain rock. And uh, when I first uh, talked to Fender about making a signature model, it was during the making of the album. And they provided me with some models of different possibilities of where we could go. And so I did use some of those on the album, Zeitgeist, the New Pumpkins album, Zeitgeist. And, um, but the album's a mixture of both new Fender guitars and old Fender guitars, and of course some other brands, but primarily um, trying to find that combination of heaviness um, with, with a different sound. As far as using my new guitar model on tour, I play the guitar every night. I have a, a few different models for different tunings and stuff like that. We have a hardtail on the back for better sustain, um, a heavier body weight so there's enough low end in the guitar, working with DiMarzio to get a, a pickup that's got, you know, both the Strat articulation but enough sort of low-end heavy metal to
to get the Sabbath out of the guitar that I want. But for mo outside of that, it's sort of a standard Fender guitar. I've just kind of hot rided up some aspects. And I think what's really nice about this is the guitar is the kind of guitar that anybody could pick up and play. So it's not sort of geeked out in some way that I can only be interested in it. But at the same time, it gives me the versatility that I need. And I think that's what makes this a great instrument. And you know, a lot of people do endorsements and, and they love the ad and the thing, but they don't really play the guitars. Or they make a guitar that's so specific to them that if you play it, you can only sound like them. This guitar really, I think anybody could pick up and be satisfied and in no way would infringe upon their playing and at the same time is able to support me every night. I'm playing this guitar on stage every night probably about 80% of the time. There's other songs that I need just different sounds and tunings. But the versatility of this instrument is what impresses me, which is why I'm really excited about doing the model.